Robert here with Jones Tech. Okay, today we're going to talk about wheel bearings, probably one of the most overlooked parts of the vehicle and one of the very most important. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say this about wheel bearings. This also plays into your ABS as well. I know you've probably heard me say this multiple times, but the reason why this is so, so, so critical is that if this wheel bearing is not adjusted correctly, that wheel is going to wobble, and when it wobbles, what's going to happen is it's going to send a signal to ABS telling that ABS it's going to spin out and it's going to try to lock this wheel down. It's going to make for a bad day for you and anybody else around you. So first thing we're going to do is take our tools that we have. Uh, this is on a trainer, so it's not torqued down to specs, but I will tell you what the specs are as we go through it. But again, like I said, it's a trainer, so it's not all the way torqued down. There's your jam nut, two different spacers, I'll explain what those are. So this, this is your bearing. This is very important. Uh, this is important uh, safety uh, note right now. You don't want to touch this tire without none of these lock nuts on here. If I do that, the tire is going to fall uh, forward and it's going to this this going to come out. Catch your finger. It's going to hurt. Anyways, this is your main bearing right here. This is a wheel bearing. Your axle goes in here, which is actually right up there on top of the toolbox. That's the axle port. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this back together. So what I'm going to do. Put this first nut on right here. So what we would do at this point is this would be our first torque, and what we do is we would torque this to 200 foot-pounds. Uh, this only goes to 150. Again, this is just a trainer. This is just going to demonstrate how we would do it. Take a torque wrench. Now even though I'm not using the correct torque specs, the um, Procedure is still the same. So spin the wheel because what you're doing now is you would be seating your new your new uh, your new bearing. Okay, so here's my first one. Now. That would, that would have been my 200 mark. As soon as you get your first one, that would have seated it. Now, for the second part of the procedure, is you want to back it off one full turn. All right, there's one full turn. Now, you want to reapply your torque, but it goes down to 50 foot pounds.
now from here. I'm going to back it off one quarter of a turn. We have that on your spindle shaft. Check the teeth. Make sure to, well, you do this before, but you want to make sure your threads are good. Here's a channel. How this works is you have this ring. It has the holes on both sides of it. And what it does, if it doesn't fit on one way, you just flip it over. There's a, there's a, a tip sticking out of the, the nut here that will allow it to make contact. I'll turn that just a little bit. Okay. Then you would take your jam nut, this is the last one. So you'd have a torque wrench that would go up this high, but this would go up to uh, 300, and you would torque it down to that. We'll go straight. Thanks for watching.